I wrote this song, My Guy, and it was number one in the world. My guy. Nothing you can do, cause I'm stuck like glue to my guy. Mary Wells was a young girl growing up in Detroit. She came to Motown because she had met Barry Gordy at a nightclub. Everybody knew that Barry Gordy was the person who had written all of the hit songs for Jackie Wilson, who, if you guys don't know who Jackie Wilson was, look him up. Fantastic. And so at a dance club one night, Barry was there and Mary was there. And she met Barry and she said, Barry, she said, I got a great song for Jackie Wilson. Barry said he was busy and he was walking around the club and she kept following him around the club. And she started to sing this song, Bye Bye Baby. You know you took my love. He stopped and listened. And he loved her voice. He said, OK, you come to the studio and bring me this song. She came over, brought the song, and he said, I'm going to record this song on you, which he did. And there was a hit on her. So he came to me and said, I want you to do an album on Mary Wells. So I wanted to do a, a different flavor for her. And one of my favorite all-time singers and my all-time people, he's one of my favorite people right now, is Harry Belafonte. So Harry Belafonte was the Calypso king in those days. And he came out with the tight shirts and the tight pants and day oh day oh and singing. And he was just the man. So I said, I'm going to make Mary Wells <laughs> the female Harry Belafonte. And that's how I'm going to fashion her music because no one's doing that in rhythm and blues. So I'm going to fashion her music like that with the bongos and the this and the that and so on. So that's what I did. So I recorded a few records on her and I had three, four or five hits. And then I wanted to change her flavoring again. You have to make that decision before you even go into the studio, what you want your record to sound like. It was a planned process. So I wrote this song, My Guy, and it was number one in the world. It's a very popular song for me, but I wrote it because I was doing songs with Mary Wells, and this was her swan song at Motown. If you want to subscribe to the AARP YouTube channel, if you got the notion, I second that emotion. <laughs>